Hey everybody, Crazy Mike, CrazyMikesApps.com with an iPhone video app review for iWatch USA. Whoa, blog training. <laughs> like I need blog training. Come on. All right, this is an app that is based on iWatch, which is a law enforcement program kicked off or or initiated by the Los Angeles Police Department. Uh, under the Bill Bratton administration as chief of police. Um, the app is pretty, it's a little controversial um, in the sense that it's, in, it's, it's encouraging people to keep their eye out for unusual activities and report those activities to the police that may actually lead to some type of a terrorist activity, terrorist attack, precursor, things like that. So let's check this app out. So that's what the iWatch program is overall. It is based on citizen involvement to report unusual activities, and this app actually will help you to kind of like think about what is an unusual activity. So let's go ahead. If you look at the bottom, you got your navigate. Well, I like the American flag, first of all. And again, this app comes to us, or I didn't say again, but this app is actually by Bowers Technologies, and it's 99 cents in the iTunes App Store. So you got your navigation bar down there. We'll go on activities. And this gives you an example of what some activities you should report. Um, people drawing or measuring important buildings, stranger asking questions about security or building security procedures, briefcase, suitcase, backpack or package left behind, and say somebody leaves it behind and, and they look weird when they drop it off, things like that. Uh, intruders in secure areas where they're not supposed to be. A person wearing clothes that are too big, too heavy in hot weather, chemical smells or fumes. Now, I know that this sounds, you know, maybe you're like, well, I don't ever see that stuff. A lot of the times, you you may not really think about it when you see it. But if you see something and you're like, that's just weird. And it doesn't add up in your head and you go, well, gee, that just doesn't seem logical. That's what the, that's what the iWatch program is encouraging you. You know, when you think something does not right, that's when you should report it. Um, you know, if you see a, you know, a crime, that's another time you should report things. So the have activities on the bottom, then you've got places and it gives you an idea of what places would be, you know, you can put those activities with government buildings, religious facilities, amusement parks, sports entertainment venues, high risk, high rise buildings, you know, places where there's a lot of people or places that would, you know, in your mind, make a good target. Now, if you see a guy walking up to a school in the middle of the day and leaving a backpack at the front door yeah you know weird okay it's even weirder if he gets out of a van <laughs> put it together put two and two together and, and uh, you know use the program as it should be and this is only in LA now LA Los Angeles in California but uh, you know this app could work anywhere it's that useful and you know, it, it, there's nothing that says you can't report this to your local authorities or the FBI, which you can actually do from this app, which I'll show you in a few minutes. So then we go to reporting checklist, and this is great, and this is good for any kind of a crime. This actually makes the app a lot more useful than just the iWatch program. It, time of day, where it happened, what happened, description of who was involved, were they male, female, tall, how tall were they, the build, hair color, what were they wearing, you know, what kind of car were they in? Did you get the tag? What time of day was it? Where was it at? Blah, blah, blah. All the things that are common sense, but in a time of stress, we don't, you know, we, we forget a lot of this common sense stuff. But this app, you know, you if you have it, you know, it's a good thing to use if you're, you know, seeing something that should be reported. And again, this can go beyond just the iWatch program. Um, report activity. You can actually... Uh, head to the FBI local, uh, the FBI homepage from this app. Within the app, you do leave the app, and you end up here at the FBI. And then this way, you can actually search the, um, you know, search for field offices. They give you all the field offices right there. Bam, bam, bam. 3G. Look how fast that was. Not bad, huh? So that is iWatch, and that is uh, the iWatch app again by Bowers Technologies. Uh, based on the iWatch program launched by the LAPD, and this app is sells for 99 cents in the iTunes App Store. Till next time, Crazy Mike saying see ya.